There's gonna be some people blue that are like in the comments like, nah, it's not how you do that. That's okay. Fuck you. All I want is everyone to get out there, push, pull, sink tins. Push, pull, sink tins. <laughs> That's what you need to do. That's the split. Push, pull, sink tins. That's the split. We're gonna go for a beer up. G'day, ladies and gentlemen. And now for something completely different. We'll worry about you in a second. Listen, I was talking to a mate the other day that recently lost 40 kilos, all right? He was doing really, really well, training hard, doing all that type of stuff, but he was only walking to do that. He wanted to get into the gym. And you know I always talk about body positivity and all that stuff being absolute bullshit. Why don't we spend our time rather than whinging about ourselves actually getting after it? I said to him, mate, wouldn't it be good if there was an opportunity for you to watch someone who you know or who you enjoy watching their content on the internet actually go into the gym and show what they do? And that's what I thought about doing here. I want to make content for the every man, the average man, ladies and gentlemen, and that's what this is. This is a series all about getting dudes back into the gym and working on a better physical and mental version of themselves. I've got my mate Bluey here, Josh Bluey Nielsen. The Daily Blue is his Instagram. He's also my podcast co-host of the Cancer Me Now podcast out every single week. And Blue, you know a lot of blokes. I know fucking heaps. Heaps of blokes. Fucking and, plenty of blokes. And I reckon that blokes should be in the gym yeah. every afternoon. I don't, you know what else? I know plenty of average blokes. Average blokes. And we're all about average blokes. Because there's too many blokes trying to juice, trying to get on the roids, trying to get, trying to look hot for the chulas. A lot of melatonin, a lot of tight skin fades. Yeah. A lot of steroids. And I This is not what this is about. That's not what average man is about. Average man is about blokes with bloke bodies looking hot for other blokes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to get in there. We're going to get into what we do in the gym. And then hopefully uh, through this series, we're going to get a lot of different guests on. And what I want to do is I want to have a website to give people uh, programs for free, give them meal plans for free. Like, like I know I'm selling, it sounds like I'm selling a fucking infomercial here, but literally just for free. So that people have no excuses. There's absolutely zero excuses. This is, this is my charitable arm. For you charity cases at home, how you doing? Not Freeloaders. Freeloading, freeloading dogs. That's who you are. I'm talking to you. Anyway, <laughs> let's get inside. We're going to warm up. We're going to do a pull, ta- pull day today. All right? Not a pull day. A pull day. We love pulling. Let's do a pull day. Let's go. I, I, I don't know. I read some science somewhere, some type of science, that the warm up is very important. Not just because it sort of gets everything going, but it increases your internal body temperatures. You know, let me know in the comments if I'm fucking way off. Uh, but it increases the internal temperatures uh, and you fucking perform better. Sounds like a load of shit. But so we're doing it. Five minutes, incline of seven. I don't know. So you don't even have an incline on? No, I don't normally warm up. You've got to have an incline. Out. What's your week normally look like? Just biceps, just biceps? No. Push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs. I think it's the simplest training method you can do. Less is more. Less is more. And particularly for people who aren't balls into it. Like if you, if you want to do like a bro split where you're doing, you know, chest on Monday or whatever, and then you move through your different body parts, you're not training enough. You yeah. could be training a lot more. And that's what I think a lot of people fail on, like particularly average blokes at home. Like if they're just doing chest on a Monday and then legs, and then you go into shoulders, like you could be training shoulders and chest within 48 hours of training it. That's when the muscle protein synthesis synthesizes, completes it, and you can go again. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, let's continue this fucking warm up. It's really hard to talk. Louis is a scaffolder, so <laughs> counting is not his forte. <laughs> Could be a few extra reps. <laughs> 15? Yeah. In what currency? It's probably not good practice, but I like never warm up. This is like, I know we just get straight into it. This is good that we're doing this. Probably a lot of what you're going to hear and see in this series is contradictory to like professional advice. So, Take it with a grain of salt. But on top of the professional <laughs> advice, this is what I was saying with my mate out there before. 
lost uh, he lost 40 kilos from a diet that he was on and uh, some gastric band stuff. And he asked the doctor what he should, what should he be doing in the gym, and the doctor said, "Do you know V Shred on YouTube?" So he started watching V Shred. Now I don't know if you know much about V Shred, but just complete fuckwit. And this is what a doctor said. He's an influencer. He's an influencer. He's just meant to get you pumped up. Pumped up the fuck. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Basically, what I was going to say to Blue then was usually because you warm up through on the other, you warm throughout your upper back. A lot of people would go straight into like a bent over row, like a barbell bent over row. My back's fucked. Well, the backs of the average man is generally fucked. The average man is uh, got a sore lower back. Physical labour. I know mine is. We were going to call this show sore lower back. We were. That was the. We had two working titles. One was sore lower back, which is obviously relatable. Yeah, very relatable. One's the average man. So, we'll go with the average to replace that, jump into the old uh, thing, the, the bench, what's it called? Bench, bench, supported. bench supported row. So, we can jump downstairs and do that, but we're already up here. So, why don't we throw something else in? Sort of work Just some rows. All that upper back, yeah. Just some rows. Try and go for the water group. Oh, like, so flip it around. You know, yeah, I know. And then hit above your nips. Or look like on your nips like that. Yeah, see? See how you're really working that, like, real upper back region? I believe it's the rhomboids. <laughs> Who's the? Is it the rhomboids? Does anybody know if it's the rhomboids? <laughs> I think it's the rhomboids. Where the fuck are the rhomboids? Yeah, rhomboids. That's all. <laughs> see? We've got, we've got confirmation. <laughs> it's the rhomboids. Rhomboids. <laughs> Told ya. <laughs> Everyone doubts me. <laughs> Don't doubt me. Ugh. Don't fucking doubt me. I go to, uh, I do a lot of like, um, what do you call it, like high, high intensity hit training? High performance hit training. Hit, hit not, not high performance. Not, there's not a lot about what I do is high performance. But, uh, it's, um, I do a lot of hit training, so like circuits. Okay. Is this normally what you do? Just like, into your weights? Like mostly just weight stuff? Well, so for me it's, it's three days of cardio as well. Yeah. On top of that. Because I, I eat like a, I just have a shit diet, like a horse, usually. Your food's all hot. Well, I'm back on, back on keto now. How the bowel movements on the keto? Fine. It's more the, the <laughs> gas and the fake sugars. Nixon hates me at the moment. I think there's so many people out there that need a starting point. And if we can give this to people for free, you know, like, yes. that's got to be beneficial. Rather than me just whinging about it. Yes. Last one, we'll go downstairs. Yeah, sorry. like a nine dollar a week yeah anytime fitness and anytime fitness in australia is different to america you know in america you know what a lunk alarm is no the lunk alarm in america at anytime fitness i think it's anytime fitness is that when you drop your dumbbells drop your dumbbells or you go a bit too heavy and then this big alarm goes off. <laughs> so we're doing a basically a row supported by a bench because we're old men and have bad backs bad backs this is average this is average man fitness. average man fitness fucking bad back this bad back central. This is we, we if chiropractors were legit, we'd know them.
never look back. They're about 90 bucks, but they're worth it. Because it takes like, it takes all of the um, grip strength out of it. So like, you know, I can I can live relatively like all right. Yeah. But I have got no grip strength. Yeah. Which you is want good? Nah, you don't want it. You it's want overrated it. grip strength. <laughs> it's grip strength. It's overrated. <laughs> it's overrated, man. <laughs> They're very popular. So you want to... Oh, so it goes and then under, I just get it under. And that's where you... It's, like, it's just yeah. like any lifting strap. Except it's ergonomically designed and much better. I feel at least 20% gayer already. <laughs> Look at that. The size of the man. <laughs> Flattering angle. <laughs> well, look. So you can't, why can't you bend your wrist? Too many wristies? Ah, uh, yeah, too many hands. Oh, no, no. A lot of chronic muscle, chronic masturbator. Yeah. So I haven't got a lot of mobility in my wrist. That'll do it too. Years and years and years of abusing my doodle. So much ass sweat, my god. Now, never be afraid of ass sweat. Never. Nah. I encourage it. If you're not sweating out your ass, you're not trying. That is the goal. That is a, that is a merch shirt right there. Yeah. If your ass isn't sweaty, you're not trying. You're not having a go. It's a, it's a, a ass sweat is a KPI of a good <laughs> session. Like if there's no ass sweat, you haven't had a good go. Pretty much, I know like gyms are heavy today. Yeah. Especially when there's like a lot of big dudes in here like throwing big weight around or like. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> but like, yeah, it can be hard, especially if you're like, if you already feel like you're not in good shape, yeah. it's definitely a hard thing to do to, like you feel quite self-conscious. I do after Christmas every year, I'm like, fuck man, I'm a big fat heap at the moment, which I generally am after Christmas, I've had nothing but ham. And That's food. why I'm dieting at the moment. Yeah, yeah, we can talk about food in a bit actually. Probably well, we probably about. should talk about food. I mean, but you're, you're, you're spot on. Like a lot of people, particularly if they're bigger people, or they set themselves weaker. Yeah. Like if you, if you come in here and you try and lift and like, oh, I was just, I, when I first started, like a nothing, couldn't yeah. bench press a thing. Yeah. Not that I can do anything amazing now, but at least you're average. It's like anything. But I think the thing, probably the biggest thing to remember when you go on the gym, if you are self-conscious, this is my experience, and you worry about people looking at you, no one fucking gives a fuck. Yeah. As in like, if you're if you're someone who's like maybe a bit worried about going to the gym because you might be a bit bigger or you're worried that you're a bit self-conscious, the first thing you need to understand is like, no one gives a fuck. And it's probably the opposite. I know how I feel when, if I see a big bloke on the treadmill having a go, or, or you know, a bigger girl on the bike, or, or oh, I'm they're pumped. already having a go. I'm, it it I'm gets me excited. Fucking hell. It gets me excited. You like, see someone really overweight yeah. at the gym, you're like, fuck yeah, that's I great. Think, I think the majority of people are the same. Um, if, you, if you're someone who, you know, sees someone judging someone else, they're, they're probably a fuck with you. Don't, you don't really see it. I don't, I don't think you do. And like, you're either looking at yourself, yeah. Or you might be having a glance at, at the chick in the booty shorts who's got a ring hole out. Guilty. It's a tough, it's a tough life. It's a tough, it's a tough it's life. It's a forbidden fruit, isn't it? I mean, when we came in here, there was a girl upstairs who had a booty shorts on it, and I said to you, we can't train behind her, but you made us, and, that, and I respect that. You're right. That's the other good thing to mention, is try and find someone to train with. Train with a partner. Train with a mate. Yeah. If you can. If you can train with someone, that's great, but, but oftentimes it's hard to sort of organise someone to train with, so train it by yourself. I mean, obviously it's hard to do things like bench press and stuff by yourself. Yeah. That's why you just do it with dumbbells. It's a lot easier. The yeah, best thing I've found, like, again, it's only my experience, but like, if you can find someone to buddy up with, it makes you accountable. Like, if you don't feel like going, you've got someone there to keep you going. And like Butsy said, when you're in the gym, there's exercises that you can't really do a lot by yourself. Like if you want to have a go on the bench or squatting or whatever, if you can find someone to train with, Who's got you know similar goals to you or not, whatever? It's um. If you're asked, it's, it's a sweating, big. You're pretending. Yeah, exactly. But no, it's a big. Come on. But it's, it is. It is. It's a good. It's a really good point. It, like if you can find someone to train with and, and get stuck in with, it's um. It's a, it's a really good starting point for sure. What's your What's your most overrated exercise? What actually? Let me rephrase it all. What's the most hated exercise with the most beneficial? For me, probably shoulders. I don't like really? training shoulders. Well, only because play footy. My whole life, my shoulders are pretty cactus down. So, and I've got, I haven't got a lot of movement in them. But for me personally, probably the most beneficial because it stops you get. If you can get it strong, yeah, yeah. you're not going to get injured. Yeah. So probably shoulders for me. Like I hate like pressing, 
any kind of mobility work is like shit. You know, probably the, what I need to do. There was a guy who said um, the most important thing about training the shoulders is really building up those stabilizers. You know yeah. that guy was a massive pussy. You're supposed to get in here, mate. You just, it's just heavy. <laughs> just as you go as heavy. Can. Just go. And if you tear your rotator cuff or you fuck your bicep tendon, just go a bit heavier. Just get some sweaty ass and just go for <laughs> it. You know, I'm more you Another very important part of training is gym etiquette. Put your weights away. And as Bluey said, you gotta, you gotta wipe your ass sweat off. Very important. You gotta fucking wipe it down, mate. You gotta wipe it down. It's like wiping your ass. I reckon, sure you get every spot. I reckon burn that one, eh? Get a new one. <laughs> Apart from like causing explosive diarrhea, what else is that good for? Diarrhea. It doesn't give you diarrhea. Doesn't it? Not at the start? No. That's that's carnival, mate. So keto's been great for me because not only is it used to treat uh, childhood epilepsy in kids, so that the burning the burning the fat in the body provides ketones that your brain runs off rather than glucose and all that type of shit. Anyway, so that's why I started because I've got a form of epilepsy, right? But then I, I noticed the byproduct is massive weight loss. I lost like 45 kilos on it that's four crazy. or five years ago. That's a lot. And so now, because the last 12 months I've just been eating whatever I want in training, and I packed it on a little bit, because I got on the old Turk restaurant. I got huge. You I was just fucking hungry. You're cheating. I was, hung I was cheating. I'm a hungry man, anyway. Uh, it's basically just you cut out all your carbs, you eat high fat and meat. And that's it. it sounds good. It's it's a really it sounds easy. delicious. That's why I recommend it, everyone. Go see your doctor. All that shit. Yeah, probably it. put Give a me. disclaimer down the bottom. No, right? no, no. Just go see some professionals before you start any. Diet. I am a professional. I am Mr. Dog. Professional fuck with. <laughs> professional fuck with. Of course, it's of course it's. Do you want do you want the pussy strap? Keep your pussy strap. So yeah, if, if you can't do these, the, the easiest way to get better at ch uh, pull ups is to lose weight. That's, that's what I found because I was 135 yeah. kilos. All of a sudden, I dropped like 40 They're kilos. harder after Christmas. They're, They're much harder, harder after Christmas. Christmas. But also with the bands, or you jump on that uh, the pull up fucking machine thing. You just slowly get better. It's like anything. You're not going to start off with a deadlift of 500 kilos. No, that is how you that is, fuck your I back. think that is uh, scientific fact. You're not going to start off with that. No. But over time, you can get into it. Just work into it. Sometimes I've got to tuck my shirt in because my belly button pops out. Even though this is quality merch, very noble. Do you know six kids died making this shirt in China? You should buy it. <laughs> Actually, another thing about this shirt. Let me talk about my merch for a bit. Of course. This is why we're here. We sent these to New Zealand when I went over there and did some shows there. And of all the shirts we sent, these are the only ones that got kept in customs and they're still in customs in New Zealand. Oh, kidding. There you go. So they just wouldn't let it. I don't know why they wouldn't let it through. Shout out customs officers in New Zealand. Yeah, can I have my shirts They're back? probably wearing them. Scaff strong. Are you too big? Hey? Are you too big? Oh, is that huh. oh. Do you know another thing I love doing? I what? do love doing at the gym. Is hanging. Dead so hanging. like if you're if you have a real physical job and like you got a like a fucking sore back or like sore shoulders, I just like hang. Yeah. Feel it all down your back. Like literally just go to the gym and just hang off the bar. Or you can flip your grip around. And it stretches all your shoulders and down your back. It's like, yeah, spinal, I love it. Spinal decompression. Mate, it's the, like, it's, if I've been on the tools all day, carrying gear, and like, if, again, if you've got a job that you're fucking like, physical, or you're sitting down all day, yeah. and your back will just be pushed together. If you hang, it's just all, everything will, it's the best feeling, man. I love it. That's where these come in handy, because you can hang a lot longer with the pussy grip. Bro, that stop trying to punt the fucking pussy grip. I do, not, I do not work for Versa Groups, they're just very good. <laughs> I can see you bringing out branded fucking pussy straps. Fuck my pussy series. straps. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. I like the hang. Up. That last set or is it one more? Maybe one more. Fuck. Up the three. Yeah. Up again. Nice. Yeah. Fatiguing. Imagine if you had pussy grips, you'd smash it. <laughs> They're so good. But, I, but without them, I can't grab anything. It's like butter. 
But who needs them? I wear them everywhere. First grips will be fucking in, in bed. In your DMs I'm, after this. They fucking want to be. They're a hundred bucks. Could you masturbate with the fucking? Could I masturbate with these? Well, they're made of leather, so it'd be like fucking a cow. Yeah, it'd be taking. But I could do that. Take the skin off. We've all been young men once. Shout out to the young. That's a weird thing to say. Shout out to the young horny blokes. Ain't you doing? <laughs> Not that young. Like Just above the age of eighteen. Shout out. Put up their Instagram names. Bluey wants to know. Yeah. Well, thank you for your assistance. <laughs> That's fine. You've got to have a spot. And there's no shame in getting help. Although I feel like less of a man now that Bluey helped me with the last one. There's no shame. Oh, this is actually something to hold. You know when I was, was adding you know, salt to me pre work Yeah. But he had a little concoction talking about diet before. He, uh, he put this little shaker together before we come down here. What was in that? Because it looked right. potent. So we've got six grams of citrulline, L-citrulline. Keep plus, talking. Plus three grams of citrulline uh, malate, which is like half the amount of L-citrulline. Uh, whatever caffeine's in, whatever I have. Something red, creatine, and salt. Particularly with keto at the moment, I need to have some extra salt because a lot of the weight that you lose at the start is all water weight, all electrolytes and all that shit. Put the uh, consultant dietitian disclaimer on this one. Don't listen to me. Do not take what I take. Not that I'm taking anything crazy. <laughs> it's a drink. All you cunts out there pumping fucking mothers every day. Yeah. You can just chill out. The, the big thing with what we're trying to do with this is like, just showing you what we do, like what works for him and like what works for me and like we'll have a few guests on and we'll sort of show you what works for everyone but like the important thing for me anyway, and again I'm a fucking scaffolder, not a fucking PT, but just do what works for you, like with your training, everyone's got their own goals, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat and but that's what I want to show in this, that's we're talking about before, like if we've got someone on who's like a, you know, more of a runner or more of an endurance athlete. Someone that might like holistic like yoga or fucking. And we talked to that person. This is gonna be not just like a gym thing, it's all about it's, it's also like a podcast, we're talking. <laughs> all that shit. That would have set off the alarm. You know what I did the other night? I rolled over in bed and moved my knee and like the ligament got or the tendon got caught in my knee and I couldn't walk for two days. That's how old I'm getting. What do you listen to in the gym? What type of music? I like Heavy. Well, it depends, but probably 80% of the time I'm training by myself. Heavy, hardcore, like rock, yeah. like screamo. I'm, so, I like, I like heavy music. I've told you this before, but I, if I'm doing like something that's really hard, heavy, intense, the only thing I'll listen to is Viking metal. Yeah. So for this next, why don't we do some uh, a bit of slow mo business and a bit of Viking, and a bit of Viking metal. metal. Just over the top, perfect. Well, I think Sabatron, I think that's one. I fucking love it. <laughs> they, 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 the song's about going in and fighting Nazis, and I don't know why, but I'm doing like fucking drugs to it. Let's yeah, it's very scary stuff. Whatever. Flying fire, in the sky, trying to pass my own sight. like an incline bench for this as well sort of like what we were doing downstairs with the chest support but then you've got to find an incline bench and drag it over there is one right there but <laughs> that seems like a lot of effort there's going to be some people blue that are like in the comments like nah it's not how you do that that's okay fuck you all right <laughs> try my best it's just about doing something as long as you're in here having a go that's fucking you know well yeah <clears throat> as long as you're not on the lounge which i do love lounge we were talking before about what type of training method. 
all I want is everyone to get out there, push, pull, sink tens. That's it. Push, pull, sink tens. <laughs> That's what you need to do. That's the split. Push, pull, sink tens. That's the split. And we're going to go for a beer after this as well. Did you do much stretching? <sighs> Stretching's overrated. Right? Show you a few good stretches. Nah. Oh, I can't, I'm not flexible, but I can't look like it'll be fun. That's a good idea. Like, so ones that are really uncomfortable about your head. What stretches are you talking about? Alright, let's talk stretching. Well, what are we talking about? Again, like many, many average men out there, if you've got a bad back, many physios that I've ignored over the years have told me you've generally got tight glutes and tight hips. So if you're sitting at a desk all day, or if you're carrying shit like I do, or whatever, it's a lot, it's not always, but it's a, a lot of times tight glutes and tight hips. Easy way to fix is stretching, which fucking everyone fucking hates stretching, but it is a good thing to do. So I'll show you one that I do for my hips. And can I add on this? The only thing that fixed my back when I heard it, because I was hurting it because I was going too deep in squats, and, and I just, for whatever reason, my back would round, and I'd sort of have that arse week, if you yeah. know what I'm talking about. The only thing that fixed, I was at this physio for months and months, and then one day he goes, I don't think your hip flexors are uh, too tight, I think they're too weak. Yeah. So I started doing these um, these things, and this is the only thing that's helped my back. But like I couldn't fucking I couldn't move for a while. Yeah. And then I was doing these. Straight through the hip flexors. Uh, Straight from the hip flexors. Yeah. Yeah. So now on like a leg day, I'll do a few sets of that, and it seemed to be good. But sorry, yeah, go on with it. I'll, I'll show you. I'll just... So you get your knee as close as you can to the base of the wall, and then up you come. Yeah. Can you do it? I don't know. Like Gandalf. Yeah. I like. I can't balance, so I use that. And you should hold it for a minute. It's pretty crap. <laughs> it's like I can barely get 20 seconds out. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's good. It actually hurts me, mate. <laughs> that's good. Good sesh, Blue. Good sesh. Um, I just wanted to sort of, at the end of this video, take a bit of a time to take a bit of time to say we're trying to build something here to really give people an opportunity to jump into training and looking after yourself and all that type of stuff. Like to get in there, just fucking have a good old time. And like podcasts are great for that because you feel a part of it. But if you see people who you enjoy on a podcast or you enjoy their stand up or whatever, you see them in the gym doing these things, and that gives you automatically the ability to go ahead and do exactly the same and you, you when you first started in the gym you had no idea all that type of stuff i was the same youtube youtube taught me coaches and that taught you is that fair to say yeah yeah and i think like the thing with this is too like we're not goggins we're not um we're not fucking mad cunts yeah, yeah. it's just like it's for, just, just get blokes. Out and have a go just average blokes yeah average what's very, the fucking name of the show average man average man very very average average men average mans and i tell you what we don't want the dad boy. We want the average man bod. And that's what we're gonna fucking get. Right, you can have a dad bod, but you gotta be fucking strong. Yeah. You gotta be able to pick your kids up and throw them in the fucking pool. Give them a clip. And then pick your missus up and take her upstairs and bench press her. <laughs> give, give her a Roger. Unless she's a real big chick, then. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, you I'll, I'll get you my lifting straps and we'll give it a go. <laughs> well, all the boys will turn up and pick her up. <laughs> big girls. Big girls, hey. They're beautiful. Remember, Remember that. Too. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get some pretty cool guests on. 
We've got a few lined up already. This is the pilot episode with the good man Blue. He's going to be back throughout the series as well. Um, head over to Average Man's website. Oh, Average Man. It should be www.averageman.com. How's my name spelled? M A R A N. M A R N. Like the butts on my Instagram. Uh, and on that, I'm going to put basically a split push pull sink tins split, which I think nice. is fucking hilarious. Uh, we're going to put a split up there that you can do, that you can train. We you may can... get professionals to put these programs well, up. Well, that's what I was going to do. I was going to call my mate who's an exercise physiologist to go through it. We're not, type of stuff. we're not going to be designing these programs, don't worry. Just go there and pick the fucking thing up, will you? <laughs> also, we'll talk to some dietitians, all that type of stuff, pick some things up, maybe some sample meal plans as we get going. And over time, if you want to support the channel, we're not obviously there's you know there's there's good tunes in this in this video. There's like you know music that other people have made, so we're not making any money off the monetization. All the money that we make from it will come from merch. If you want to support it, if not, just watch it, enjoy itself, enjoy yourself. It's going to be free anyway. Bluey, I know we're going to be sitting in the car on the way home, but I thought I'd shake your hand just, on just camera for, anyway, just for the sake of the video, because that's the polite thing. Before we go, shout out to Adam. I don't know Adam's surname, but he actually. Adam. The name Average Man. So we were like, what are we going to call this thing? We're obviously pretty dumb, not yeah. as creative as we'd like to think, and we yeah. were trying to come up with titles for this gym series. And we I came thought up with some, Lifting Steel, we but came he up, said I was an idiot. I was going to save you the embarrassment, we came up with some shit ones. And then we put the call out on the podcast, and, uh, and Adam, Adam, he who will not be known because we don't know his name. I don't know his surname, but Adam Average Man. So they call it Average Man. Average Man. Ladies and gentlemen, that's episode one. We'll see you next time.